today we are going to see the passive network synthesis okay so as we know for a given characteristic equation or the excitation and response function we would like to realize a network so today we are going to see the foster form 1 as well as the foster form 2 and car form 1 and car form 2 so we will concentrate mainly on foster form 1 and 2 for LC network and car form 1 and 2 LC network as well as RL and RC circuit okay so given a, a impedance function or admittance function we would like to realize a network so given an impedance function Z of S we can realize this function in a foster form 1 so foster for 1 given a impedance function of any order we can realize into a foster form 1 given y of s the admittance function we can realize into foster form 2 okay let me take of any order which has a complex conjugate poles in it so after having a partial fraction expansion partial fraction expansion we can write k0 by s plus 2k2s by s square plus omega 2 square so on till infinity okay if we expand uh, impedance function in this form then we can able to realize a first of all network so, so the first element k0 by s represents an capacitor right 1 by cs so c1 is equal to 1 by k0 or if i represent c0 c0 is 1 by k0 the first element then here it is z2 term if i call this one as z1 term z2 term z3 term so on till z infinity term or the nth term the last term will be z so if we have this function as z2 if i represent z2 as 2k2s by s square plus omega 2 square i can write y2 inverse of that s square plus omega 2 square divided by 2k2s i can again expand this as s by 2k2 plus omega 2 square by 2k2s and if it is y term the first element is obviously nothing but a capacitor C into S, right? So I have a C1 term is nothing but 1 by 2K2. So I have a capacitor that is 1 by 2K2. And this term indicates Y, Y, Y3, Y4, or consider Y4 term indicates 1 by LS. So L1 is nothing but 2K2 by omega 2 square right so if i can get c1 as 1 by 2k2 l1 as 2k2 by omega 2 square right similarly i can find out from this that is c2 is equal to 1 by 2k2 and uh, l2 l2 is nothing but sorry 1 by k4 k4 divided by omega 4 square so we are talking about k4 and omega 4 so on to the the last element will be obviously which element it is z term so l infinity is k infinity the last element of will be an inductor that is infinity. so i can represent the first of form one as first element is capacitor okay which has what value 1 by k naught and inductor capacitor in parallel combination you can see y is nothing but parallel of these two so the capacitor is value having value 1 by 2k2 and 2k2 by omega 2 square so again we have the next third element that is 2k4 by omega 4 square
and the last element will be an inductor that is k infinity so z of s is the impedance function of this network okay so given a characteristic equation of the excitation response that is impedance function we can write it into partial fashion expansion form then we can find out the elements respective elements here the capacitor will be 1 by k0 c1 will be 1 by 2k2 l1 is equal to k2 by omega 2 square so on till infinite terms that is when the term whatever you can talk we can realize this network okay this is first of form one network so similar way we can find radio first of form two network that is k naught by s. Yes. We'll see those. Okay. So let's transition for the Foster form two. Foster form two is meant for the admittance function. You wanna know why of s? If we can write in partial fraction expansion of this form, so this will be y one. So the term which are all parallel to each other. If we realize all these terms has to be parallel, and given this term, so given the first term, it represent y of s k naught by s, but y is one by l s. So this will be l naught, that is one by k naught. One by k naught is the inductor in this fashion. The first in the z term it was a capacitor. Here it is an inductor. And if we can write y two s two k two s by s square plus omega two square, so this can be written as z two the inverse of that s square plus omega two square divided by two k two s. So can be expanded again as s by two k two omega square by two k two s. So this is an impedance function. Right, z two is an impedance function. So as we see, l into s, the first term will be in l. So l one is one by two k two, and here this will be c one. That is one by c s. So two k two by omega two square. So we will be having l one as one by two k two, c one as two k two by omega two square. Similarly, here what will be there? Here instead of k two, here will be o. K four omega two instead of it will be omega four, so L two will be one by two K four, C two will be one by two K four by omega four square. Okay, so on. The last element will be C into S, right? So C infinite, the infinite element will be K infinite. The value of that capacitor will be K infinite. This Farad. Okay. So to realize that. All are parallel elements. The first element is an inductor, so I can write as an inductor one by k naught Henry. So next we have inductor and a capacitor in series because z is a term. Here it is in series. So L one has the value one by two k two. C one will be having two k two by omega two square. So on. Okay. One by two k four. The last element will be what? Capacitor. K infinite. Okay. This is the first step from two realization. So all elements are in parallel. The previous case it was all in series. Here the conjugate function will leads to inductor and capacitor in series because inverse of that is an but in impedance function, right? So the values can be reduced from this, and to know the value of two k two, so it is similar to the partial fraction expansion. How to find out the constants or the residue of that, right? So let's take a problem and uh, let us realize first of form one and two. Okay, let's consider some problems. So first we will realize for the first of form one, then we go for the first of form two.
So let's take this z of s, s into a square plus 9, a square plus 5, a square plus 13 as a problem. Okay. So here the numerator and denominator, order difference is 1, numerator has s cube, denominator has s4. Okay. So there are 4 elements that we can write with the help of partial fraction expansion. So if I have to solve this, I have to write z of s into partial fraction expansion for as we see that there are only two conjugate terms that is square plus 5 which has roots at plus or minus j root 5 and this has got root plus or minus j root 13 right so and obviously as it is a positive real function positive real function the roots are same okay and sorry residues are real and positive okay that is given as 2k2 yes a square plus 5 plus 2k4 so this way we can write partial fraction expansion and we uh, need to know how what is the value of 2k2 and 2k4 2k to find out with the z of s that is z of s by s at s square plus 5 a square plus 5u into z of s by s because 2k s is a square plus 5u into z of s so a square is equal to what is the value minus 5 so please put into this and solve okay and uh, we'll know what is the value of 2k2 why i brought this s s is from 2k to s 2k to s can be found out with a square plus 5 multiplied this divided by this s and we are keeping a square is equal to minus 5. So we will have divide by s no? Divide by s is the is s and this divide and will go. Even this term will go. So we will have minus 5 plus 9 divided by minus 5 plus 13. We will end up with 4 by 8. 1 by 2. 1 by 2, that's what we are going to get. If we solve for this, 2k2, k4, sorry, 2k4. A square plus 13 z of s by s keeping a square is equal to minus 13 so let's see what we get a square plus 9 square plus 5 square plus 13 okay square plus 13 is equal to 13 this get cancer keeping a square is equal to minus 13 so 2k4 is equal to minus 13 plus 4 plus 9 minus 13 plus 5 right so 9 is minus 4 divided by minus 8 so it is again 1 by 2 so we get uh, 2k2 and uh, 2k4 as 1 by 2 each so if my 2k2 is 1 by 2 okay my capacitor first term my when I take the inverse of this we know that S by 2K to S is nothing but a capacitor, right? So that is C1 is equal to 1 by 2K2. That will be what? 1 by 2K2 is 2, 2 fire rate. And L1 is equal to 2K2 by omega 2 square. So 2K2 by omega 2 square. Omega 2 is what? Omega 2 square is 5. This is omega 2 square, omega 4 square and so on. So omega 2 square is 5. So 1 by 2 into 5 is 1 by 10 Henry. Similarly from this we can reduce C2 that is 1 by 2K4. 1 by 2K4. 2K4 is 1 by 2. So 1 by 2. 1 by 1 by 2 is the number 2 Henry. 2 Farad. And uh, inductor will be L2 that is 2k4 by so 2k4 is 1 by 2 into 13 1 by 
26 we can write this is my first element straight away inductor capacitor inductor capacitor configuration and the values are C1 is 2 farad this is also 2 farad this is 1 by 10 Henry this is 1 by 26 Henry so this is the Foster form 1 realization this is Foster form 1 realization for the given Z of S okay for the given Z of S for the first one post we have a LC parallel connected in series okay so let's take one more problem and uh, let's realize a Foster form 1 so we are talking about Foster form 1 okay so from this we just had partial fraction expansion and we just found out the constants from there we found out which are the elements lying on that so c1 is 1 by 2k2 l1 is 2k2 by omega 2 square so similarly it goes for the for the chain how many elements will be there we will write those in this fashion that is first of form 1 let's go for the second problem for realizing first of form 1 for given z of s let's take square plus 3 square plus 5 square plus 4 square plus 6 okay so coming to this a square plus 3 into a square plus 5 divided by s into a square plus 4 into a square plus 6 to realize that into a foster form 1 we need to what we need to expand that into a partial fraction expansion so for the you see numerator is having 4 order denominator is having 5 order 5 elements will be there in the network which will be realized okay so k naught by s first 2k2s by s square plus 4 similarly 2k4s by s square plus 6 fine so now let's go for finding out the constant k naught 2k2 and 2k4 so to find out k naught multiply s into z of s and keep value s is equal to 0 all right so once we do that s into square plus 3 and s is equal to 0 okay s is equal to 0 we will end up with 15 divided by 24 okay so if we can again write it in the other form 3 5 zero, 3 8 zero. 5 by 8 so let's find out what is the 2k2 value 2k2 is this z of s into this divided by s a square plus 4 divided by s into z of s keeping s square is equal to minus 4 okay let's find out what is the value of 2k2 is square plus 3 square plus 5 okay so the first this element goes s and s is a square so a square is minus 4 plus 3 minus 4 plus 5 divided by minus 4 into minus 4 plus 6 how much we get minus 1 into 1 is minus 1 divided by minus 4 into plus 2 minus 4 into minus plus 2 is minus 8 is it 1 by 8 2 k 2 is 1 by 8 similarly let's find out for 2 k 4 2 k 4 so if you want to find out 2 k 4 square plus 6 divided by s into z of s for s square is equal to minus 6 let's see what is the value we get square plus 6 
this get cancelled, keeping a square equal to minus 6. Minus 6 plus 5, minus 6, this is 3. Minus 6 into minus 6 plus 4. Minus 3 into minus is plus 3. Okay. And uh, <coughs> divided by minus 6 into minus 2. So it is. So we have 2k4. 2k4 is equal to 1 by 4. So this element is nothing but z. So it is c0, 1 by k0, k0 value is 5 by 8. So it is 8 by 5 farad. 5 by 8, so 8 by 5 farad. So this c1, 1 by 2k2, right? c1 is 1 by 2k2 is nothing but 1 by 8 of that mass is 8 farad and from the c2 is 1 by 2k4 1 by 2k4 is 4 farad 1 by this is 1 by 2k4 so from this l1 is equal to 2k4 k2 by omega 2 square so 1 by 8 into 4 1 by 34 32 and okay and L2, what you get in L2 is, so L2 is, two k two by, two k four by, omega four square, two k four by omega square. So one by four into six, one by twenty four. Okay, so one by twenty four hundred. So we have to write it in the series combination. The first element is in capacitor 8 by 5 farad because 5 by 8 which they cannot. The next so L1. by 24 this is 8 farad 4 farad right so this z of s can be realized in this form that is poster form 1 okay so z of s can be realized in the poster form 1 like this fashion so, given any function, we have to do partial fraction expansion provided the amount of polynomials of higher order. So, we will go further, okay, into finding out the constants, finding out the constant, then we will find out what which is capacitor and element, inductor values, then we will write in this fashion, okay. This is Foster form 1. So, let's take some more problems, which is Foster form 2. So, let's go for the Foster form 2, Foster form So as we said, first of all, two is a ladder structure in which, <coughs> not ladder, it is a parallel combination of inductor and capacitor, okay, represented for y of s, given y of s, okay. Let's take y of s as s into a square plus 2 divided by a square plus 1, a square plus 3. Let's take this problem, okay. So here, we have to do again partial fraction expansion. Then we will find out which are the values meant for the capacitor index. So, <coughs> for this, parameters of higher order. So, straight away we can go for 2k2s by a square plus 1, 2k4s by a square plus 3. Let's find out for the values of 2k2 and 2k4. 2k2 is nothing but 
keeping a square is equal to minus 1, right? So we will have S into S into this get cancelled, all those terms square is equal to min minus 1 will keep. So 1 by 2. So 2k2 is 1 by 2. Let's go for the finding of 2k4. 2k4. Keeping a square is equal to minus 3. So let's find out the value of 2k4. Plus one, s plus three. So this get cancelled, and this one this get cancelled. We have to keep s equal minus s square equal minus three. So minus three is minus one divided by minus two. So is it one by two? So both uh, two k two and two k four are found out to be one by two. Okay. Let's see where are those. Okay. So <coughs> this is y term. Y which there then those will be in this, this y. This y1 and uh, y2 will be both parallel to each other, but y2 ground is of higher order, so we will convert into z2. z2 will be a series combination of the elements which we get. Okay, so the first element is an inductor. Inductor, so L1. L1 is equal to 1 by 2k2. 1 by 2k2. How much? It's 200. So end up with. 200. C1, 2k2 by omega 2 square. 1 by 2k2 is 1 by 2 into 1 is 1 by 2 farad. 1 by 2 farad. Similarly for this, L2 is equal to 1 by 2k2, 1 by 2k4, sorry, 1 by 2k4 equal to 200. Where C2 is equal to 2k4 by Omega 4 square, 1 by 2 into 1 by, 1 by 6 farad. So to realize that network, we need to foster form 2. Inductor, capacitor, there are two combinations. Okay. So L1 is 2 Henry, 2 Henry. C1 is 1 by 2 farad. 1 by 6 okay so this is the foster form 2 realization for given y of s for the given y of s we can find out the foster form 2 as this network okay so given y of s an admittance function find out the partial fashion expansion of that find the constants, find the inductor capacity values and then hence draw the circuit. Okay. Here as it is a y, these will be in parallel combinations. So if it is, let's go for the second problem. So let's take the second problem. Y of s is equal to the square plus 5 as we seen in the impedance function. We have seen z of s would be s into s square plus 9 divided by s square plus 5 into s square plus 13, right? So let's take the inverse of that. That is y of s. We have to draw the poster form 2 for this. So you see the numerator is of higher order than the denominator, so we have to make a uh, <coughs> expansion, partial expansion for, we have to do a continuous expansion for making, taking out 1s, right, because here if we go for the state of a k0 by s into 2k2s by s square plus 9, we will end up with 3 elements, whereas it has 4 elements, so the fraction expansion is, if we write for the 
full expansion is to the power 4 plus 18 square plus 65 right 18 square plus 65 so s cube plus 9 s so we do a fraction expansion continuous expansion so 1 s is to the power 4 plus 9 square we end up with 9 square plus 65 so we can write our y of s as s plus this first element will be there so a reminder 9 square plus 65 divided by s cube plus 9s you see the here the denominator of having higher order than that of the numerator so this is the first element and here we can do a partial fraction expansion and we'll get three more elements so total four elements we get okay so right so we do s plus cannot buy s or some constant this one cannot buy s plus 2k2 s by s square plus 9 we expanded this and to this time right we need to find out what is the value of k0 and what is the value of 2k2 so k0 can be found out with s into y of s by keeping s is equal to 0 s into y of s not only this complete y of s make sure to find out the k0 you have to use the complete y of s not just this so <clears throat> square plus 5 square plus 13 keeping s is equal to 0 this s gets cancelled 65 by 9 right we get 65 by 9 as k0 and this is y of s the first element parallel to the second parallel to the third element so this consider this is y1 y2 and y3 y1 plus y2 plus y3 y1 leads to which element y c into s right so the capacitor is 1 farad 1 farad what about this cannot buy s 1 by ls right so l is equal to 1 by k0 maybe l0 nothing but what the k naught value. k naught value is 65 by 9. So 9 by 65 Henry. 9 by 65 Henry. Okay. So 9 by 65 Henry will get the third. Let's find out for the 2k2. 2k2. Again to find out the 2k2 complete y of s has to be taken. So s square plus 9 divided by s into complete y of s. Putting a square is equal to minus 9. Please find out the solution for this. 2k2 is equal to this. So we have a square plus 9. Yfs is a square plus 9 it goes. We have to keep a square is equal to minus 9. So we end up with minus 9 plus 4 into minus 9 plus 13 divided by minus 9 right so we will find out the value of 2k2 2k2 will be how much 5 minus 5 plus minus 4 divided by minus 9 This is 5 yes. minus 9 minus 5. So we have 4 into 4. 4 into 4 is 16 by 9 minus 9. 16 by 9. So 2k2 is 2k2 is 16 by 9. Right. 2k2 is 16 by 9. So if 2k2 is 16 by 9, the inductor. Inductor L1 is 1 by 2K2. Correct? Then we take an impedance 
y y3 becomes z3 z3 square plus 9 divided by 2k2 s s by 2k2 is an inductor so 1 by 2k2 is an inductor 1 by 2k2 what is the value the reverse of that so 9 by 16 henry 9 by 16 henry is an inductor similarly the capacitor c1 will be 2k2 by omega 2 square 2k2 is 1 16 by 9 16 by 9 into omega 2 square omega 2 square is what 9 so into 9 so 16 by 81 16 by 81 farad is a capacitor so if we have to draw the circuit let's draw it the first element first element is capacitor first element is an capacitor one farad the next element is an inductor okay that is 9 by 65 Henry. the third element is the series combinations of inductor and capacitor inductor is 9 by 16 Henry and the capacitor is 16 by 81 farad 16 by 81 farad okay Hence, this realization is Foster form 2 for given YFS. Okay, for given YFS. Here, L6C is not there. First function, L is not there. LC, LC, LC. Combination of this. Okay, so <coughs> this is about Foster form 2. Let's learn now the core form 1 and 2. Okay, let's go further for the core form 1 and 2. So till now we learned first of form 1, first of form 2. First of form 1 is meant for the impedance function, core form uh, first of form 2 is meant for the admittance function. Right. In first of form 1 and 2, we do partial fraction expansion. In core form 1 and 2, we do continual fraction expansion. So now we learnt about first of form 1 and 2 completely for the LC network. We haven't included any R in this network as we have seen so far. But in core form 1 and 2 we as well as include R and C. Okay. R L R C. So even we can realize first of form 1 and 2 for R L and R C which is not in for our syllabus it is not there. Whereas for core form 1 and 2 we have R L and R C. But we will also see else network also. So coming to this call form one. Whenever a given <coughs> function, whether it is an impedance function or an admittance function, we should be able to realize a call form one and call form two. Okay. How we do here is given an impedance function, we do a continued fraction expansion. We have seen in Hurwitz polynomial continued fraction expansion, right? So we will write those quotients, okay? So like alpha 1s plus 1 by alpha 2s plus 1 by alpha 3s plus. So on it goes, alpha 4s, the nth element 1 by alpha ns, right? This is continued fraction expansion. It goes further till the nth element. And all the alpha i should be greater than or equal to 0 in order to tell it is habits or not, right? So here we will also able to realize for this core form 1 of this fashion and z is there the first function will be obviously it will be meant for inductor so if we realize that first function will be an inductor this is having alpha 1 henry and the second function is 1 by that of so alpha 2 is a capacitor right alpha 2 is a capacitor third element again z y and z alpha 3 is a z so so is alpha 3 is an inductor alpha 4 is an capacitor okay so on till you get the last element capacitor okay maybe this alpha n is there or some other value is there okay 
So L C L C L C L C maybe alpha n minus one. So this fashion, if you write a ladder structure, L C L C L C. This is called core form one. This is called core form one. And if I write z of s plus with y of s, the first function will be what? A capacitor, right? If I have a y of s of this form, that is alpha one s plus one by alpha two s plus one by so until one by alpha n s. So this will be an alpha two s is a inductor. Alpha three. Alpha four, alpha five, so on. Again, a capacitor. Okay. Even a given impedance y of s of this fashion, we can write C L C L or L C L C L C L. This is also a core form one. Okay. So how we can get this core form one is removing a higher order polynomials. Okay, higher order polynomials. If any z of s is of this form, a n S to the power n plus a n s to the power a n minus one a naught divided by whatever this form. If numerator is having a degree one greater than that of the denominator, we will go straight away from removing the higher order terms, and we will end up with a This kind of expansion, continuous expansion. Then we can write a LC LC ladder structure. This is also LC LC LC, right? Ladder structure. So this is called core form one. Okay, for given impedance as well as admittance function, we can reduce reduce a core form one. For given impedance and admittance function, we can also reduce a core form two. Core form two, we will see what's that. If my Z of S is of this fashion, okay. I will write simply a naught a one of s a two of s so on to a n s to the power a n. If I have z of s in this form, I can write the first element as a naught by b one by s, right? Plus z two of s. This can be again kind of fraction expansion we can do. Here alpha one by s is there, so one by alpha one, right? One by One by C S. So the inductor will be the next because Z. Then this becomes Y. Y, which the number is S. Then it is an inductor. One by alpha two. One by alpha two. So the third will be alpha three. One by alpha three. One by alpha four. So on. Okay. Then you have the last will be an inductor. One by alpha n. If this is the case, okay. If this is the case, then we have written C first, then L next. C first, then L. Next. The ladder circuit which has L, C L C L C L. This will be a core form two. Core form two. Okay. So even it depends on the constants, or if we can uh, find out this in the form of one by Alpha one s, one by alpha two s, one by alpha three s, so on, one by alpha n s. Then I can write straight away this as alpha one, alpha two, alpha three, alpha four, alpha five, and alpha to the power. So this. This way, I can write the coefficients: alpha one Farad, alpha two Henry. Okay, so whereas this alpha one becomes now alpha one become b one by a naught, b one by a naught. So if I can write continued fraction expansion, this is continued fraction expansion, right? Which we have seen in the Harvard's polynomial. So this is the core form two. So core form one has got inductor first, then capacitor in parallels. Okay, inductor, capacitor, inductor, capacitor, so on, till the entanglement. That is the ladder of L C. That is core form one, 
and later form of CL, C capacitor first, then inductor in parallels. C in series, series, carol, series, parallel combination. Later, CL, CL will give you power form 2. CL, CL gives you power form 2. Okay. So, what about the RL and RC circuit? The core form 2 and core form 1, RL and RC circuit. So, if I talk about core form 2, RC, then it will be CR, CR, CR. If it is core form 1, it is RC, RC, RC. Means always parallel will be a capacitor for core form 1. Series will be capacitor for the core form 2. Whereas RL, we have an inductor as a series. So L, R, L, R, L, R combination will be a core form 1. RL, RL combination will be core form 2. So we will take some examples and we will see. Or given Z of S, if I can able to do a continuum fraction expansion in a way that for this core form one for RL circuit, core form one for RL circuit. If I can able to reduce alpha one s plus one by alpha two by alpha three s plus so on till one by alpha n, whatever. Okay, so. Alpha n, this will be an inductor first. First element is an inductor which I will alpha 1. Then alpha 2 is state time and constant. So we have a resistance alpha 2. Alpha 3 is an inductor. Alpha 4 is a capacitor. So on. Alpha n. Okay. If I able to write my Z of S of this form, then this is nothing but a core form. 1. If I can able to write the same Z of S of this form, that is alpha 1 plus 1 by alpha 2 S plus 1 by alpha 3, so on till 1 by alpha N, S or whatever. Okay. So the first element is your R, then second element is second element. Input Z and S. If you have to write alpha by S. So alpha 3 1 by alpha 4 by S. So on till 1 by alpha N or whatever. Okay. So if you write this form in resistance plus Y term will be having inductor. Inductor will be having value 1 by alpha 2. 1 by alpha 2. Then alpha 3 in Z is alpha 1, alpha 3. Then again inductor 1 by alpha 4. So on. You can have inductor whatever alpha n. This is inductor, inductor. This can be a register, whatever the value we get, whether it is in terms of S or just constant. So this is core form 2, core form 2, if I can write given an impedance function or impedance function in a continuum fraction expansion, if I can able to reduce in this form alpha 1 s plus alpha 2 and so on, this is R L R L R. this is core form 1, if I can write R L R L R L. this is core form 2, what if for RC network? R C and core form R C network. Core form R C we just have to find out first. First element will be a constant. Okay. Constant. Then second element should be a capacitor. So impedance and second will be a capacitor. Capacitor. So the first function will be the constant that is R. Then second will be a capacitor alpha 2, alpha 1. So again we'll, alpha 3 is R capacitor alpha 4 and so on. The last element and resistance alpha n minus 1, alpha n. 
So if I can write this Z of S in this form or Y of S in this form, then it is cor form 1. R C C is in parallel. So coming to the cor form 2, C will become in series. Okay. And to get C R C R Here on C will come and alpha, whichever element comes. So comes in alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha 3, 4, so on, alpha n. So we have to write first element as capacitor. So if it is a z term, then capacitor to be here, then 1 by alpha 1 s, right? Or if I have to write 1 by alpha 1, then alpha 1 by s. So that's the capacitor, 1 by cs. Plus, 1 by and then straight away alpha 2 filters plus 1 by 1 by alpha 3s plus by alpha 4 so on till 1 by alpha n okay so if i can write this fashion the continuum action expansion then it is core form 2 for r -C -C. this is core form 1 for the r -C -C. R -C -R -C -R -C. so let's take some problems okay then we will see whether we can able to realize the network in the form of core form 1 and core form 2 or not. So consider a problem. Let us take a core form 1. Okay. And let's take a problem having Z of S. Let's take this problem and uh, realize the network in car form 1. Car form 1, LC means L and C. L and C in land form. First element will be L, then parallel element will be C. Again, third element will be L, the fourth element will be C, so on. Okay. So, for that, we have to remove a higher order polynomials first. From the numerator, we have to remove the higher order polynomials in order to realize a car form 1. For the, removing the lower order polynomials first will be given rise to a car form 2. So let's expand this. Okay. So s to the power 5 plus 10 s square plus 24 s into s square plus this will be in s cube. So 24 s. Okay. So let's go for the denominator s to the power 4 plus. 7 8s plus 8 square plus 15. So s to the power 5, 10s cube, 24s plus s to the power 4, 8 square plus 15. So we have to do a continued fraction expansion in order to realize this network. So let's do further continued fraction expansion. Numerator denominator by denominator, s to the power 4. 15 so with this to remove the higher order polynomial I have to multiply s so s to the power 5 8 s cube plus 15 s what result it will be 2 s square plus it is 9 s right so now I have to divide this from this. It's so continued fraction expansion. If we call continued fraction expansion, we'll go further. So s to the power 4. <coughs> this is s cube. s to the power 4. 8 s square plus 15. So a second element when we have to do this is s by 2, right? Okay, s by 2. S by 2 is s to the power 4 plus. 9s by 2. 9 square by 2. Okay. When I have 9 square by 2, 16 minus 9 is 7 by 2s plus 15. Now I have to remove from this. 2s cube plus 9s. So if I call this will be the first element that will be z z1 
this will be in y1 so the next element will be my z2 z2 to get this you have to multiply 4 by 7 yes right when I multiply 4 by 7 you will have 2 s cube okay the square 2 s cube plus when I multiply 60 by 7 yes 60 by 7 yes the first term goes 3 by 7 yes which you get 7 minus 63 minus 60 by 7 so I have to remove from this 7 by 2 square plus 15 the second element will be 4 by 7. The third element will be my y2. z1, y1, z2, y2, z3 goes on. So for this to get 7 by 2, I have to multiply 49. 49 by what? 6, right? So if I multiply 49 by 6, you will get 7 by 2 square. Right? 49 by 6 you get 7 by 2 so the last element will be 15 so I have to multiply 3 by 7 s yes. to get 3 by 7 s yes, we need to multiply 3 by 7 so we need to multiply 3 divided by <coughs> 105 this will be my z3 times of s right so when i multiply 3 by 7 or 5 you will get 3 by 7 s yes. so in the picture right 3 by 1 not 5 so 13 57 into 15 is 1 of 5 so i got z1 is yes z1 giving you yes that means the first element is an inductor with the value l1 is equal to 1 henry and if I get y1 is equal to s by 2 indicating the capacitor that is y2 see yes right 1 by 2 farad if I indicate z2 z2 is nothing but 4 by 7 s yes, indicates l1 is 4 by 7 and y2 49 by 6 indicates to s indicates C2 that is 49 by 6 farad and last Z3 3 by 105 what is 3 by 105 is it 1 by 35 correct 1 by 35 this indicates my L3 which is 1 by 35 Henry right so I have deduced L is the first element is 1 Henry C is the next element, that is parallel element is 1 by 2 farad, L1, this is L2, C2, L3, right, L2 is 4 by 7 Henry, 49 by 6 farad, L3 is equal to 1 by 35, so let's represent that, okay, to represent that, I will, meanwhile I will remove this, to represent, you will get the first element as an inductor, the next element will be the capacitor, third element will be inductor, and then capacitor, inductor. We don't have C3, so no element is a capacitor. So it is 1 Henry, 1 by 2 Farad, 4 by 7 Henry, and 49 by 6 Farad, 1 by 35 Henry. This way we can realize a network. That is continuous do a continuous factor expansion. Okay. Just you have to remove a higher order polynomials, right? Then you can realize a car form one. That is LC, LC, LC in ladder structure. This is car form one and my Z of S is showing from this end. Okay. Fine, let's take one more problem. Okay. For maybe if it is given. Z of S, let's take one more problem and let's realize the core form 1. Okay.
let's take this problem okay which says a square plus 3 a square plus 5 s into a square plus 4 a square plus 6 so here the numerator is of order 4, denominator is of order 5, right? Numerator is 1 degree lesser than that of denominator. But if we go further for continuous factor expansion, you may not get the first element as yes. Something multiplied with yes because we need an inductor, right? First element. Or else if first element is not there, straight away second element will be in y terms, it should be a capacitor. So for that, Expansion of this will not lead you. So let us see here what is that? S to the power 4 plus 8 square plus 15 divided by S to the power 5 plus 10 S Q plus 24 S. Right? So, when I go for the control fraction expansion, you may not get the first element as an inductor. So, what I have to do? I have to just invert this. S to the power 5 plus 10 S Q plus 24 S divided by S4 plus 8 S square plus 15. Okay. This is to the previous first fall. Whenever we, we solve the previous problem, right? So, previous problem we solved the same element rising to the picture. Okay. So this can be again do a continued fraction expansion and uh, as we see in the first uh, element was Z1 as 1, okay, yes, Y1 was, <coughs> if we remember S by 2, Z2 was 4 by 7, yes, and uh, Y2 was the previous problem, previous problem, y2 was 49 by 6, yes, z3 was 1 by 35, yes, right, so this was the previous solutions, so but here, the first element will become y1, the first element will become, we can expand this, no, yes, plus 1 by, yes, by 2 plus 1 by 4 by 7, yes, plus 1 by 49, by 6 s yes, plus 1 by 35 yes right this way or you can write here the last element will be 1 by 1 by 35 yes correct so this way we can uh, do the past control fraction expansion but here now the first element is y1 y1 is yes so that means a capacitor c1 will be 1 farad okay C1 will be unfair. So then this will be Z1. Z1 is equal to S by 2. So inductor will be 1 by 2 farad. So you do the continuous expression, same as the previous one. So Y2 is 4 by 7 S. Okay, first it was Z2. So we have C2 is equal to 4 by 7 farad. This is Henry. So the next uh, Z2, Z2 is 49 by 6, yes, this implies L2 is equal to 49 by 6, Henry, okay. Then Y3 was there, that is 1 by 35, yes, this implies C3 is equal to 1 by 35, Farad. So if I present, the first element is the capacitor and which is in parallel. 1 farad and then inductor then capacitor then inductor then capacitor okay so capacitors are 4 by 7 farad 1 by 35 farad inductors and 1 is 1 by 2 henry and 2 is equal to 49 by 6 so this is the representation for Car form 1, car form 1, that is 1 farad, 1 by 2 henry, 49 by 6, and then so on. This is the car form 1 realization. Let's do a problem in which we can realize car form 1, but for Ars network. Okay, so maybe uh, car form 1 and 2, which is not mentioned in your syllabus, but it can be asked in the exam for else network. Realize a car form 1 and 2 
for a given problem in LCD. LC, LC. Let's go further for RC. RC. Okay. Or form 1 for RC network. Okay, <coughs> let's uh, solve some more problems for car form 1 RC network. Okay, let's take the problem number 1 itself. So, Z of S, S plus 2, S plus 6, let's take 2 times of S plus 1 and S plus 3. Okay, so let's take this problem in order to realize a network in RC. R, first segment will be R, definitely parallel it will be C. Okay. So for this, and it is called form 1. So we have to remove the higher outer pole numbers first. So when I expand this, this will be a square plus 8s plus 12. Okay. So when I expand this, 2 times of a square plus uh, 4s. 4 into 2 is 8 s plus we have 3 into 2 is 6 ok 2 s square plus 8 s plus 6 so we know that both are of same degree numerator and polynomial are having a highest order is square denominator polynomial is also having a order s square so the first we have to remove the higher order polynomials so 2 s square plus 8 s plus 6 a square plus 8s plus 12. So here only we can see by inspection that when both are of same order, then the first element will be obviously constant that will be leads to r value. So, so the first element we will have 1 by 2. So we will have 1 by 2 a square plus 4s plus 3, right? So we will have 4s plus 9. 4s plus 3. So 4s plus 9. 4s plus 9. So, we need to now divide a remainder from this. So, 2 a square plus 8s plus 6. So, from this, let's see. This which the first element is z1. Now, we will have y1. Okay. The y1 is nothing but 2s. Okay. So, so we will have s by 2. Because we want to have 2 a square. 2 a square plus 9 by 2s, so when I have 9 by 2s, 16 minus 9, 16 minus 9, 7 by 2s plus 6, okay, 7 by 2s plus 6, so now continue tax expansion, 4s plus 9, when I have 4s plus 9, so now I have z2, that is, I can make 8 by 7, 8 by 7, a constant. So, is it 4s? 8 by 7. Into 7, 7 goes 4s plus, okay, uh, 48 by 7. 15 by 7, 7 by 2s plus 6, y2 y1 and y2 so 49 by you have 30 49 by 30 so 49 7 32 49 by 30 so by 2 uh, this is yes right yes so we have 6 15 by 7 now you have a z3 term z5 by 40 what if we multiply 5 by 14? 5 30, 30 by 14 is 15 by 7 itself. So we end up with 0. So the Z3 term is 5 by 14. Z3 term is 5 by 14. 5 into 6 is 30. 30 by 14 is 15 by 7 only. 30 by 14 is 50 by 7 only. So when we write that straight away, I can write realize that first element is an R, which is one by two ohms, because Z is having one by two ohms. So the next element, obviously, it is Y term, so C by C S, so capacitor one by two farad. The third term, third term is resistance eight by seven ohm. Then fourth term is Capacitor K 
capacitor value 49 by 30 farad 49 by 30 farad then resistance 5 by 14 ohms this is in fact so this given z of s we realized a core form one that is rc r in series instead of l we have r c as usual in this same place okay this is core form one so what if we want to go for the core form 2 okay let's take core form 2 let's solve a problem for the core form 2 core form 2 means we have to remove the lower order first not the highest order we will reverse this let's take the same problem then instead let's take the same problem and solve for the Core form two. Core form first element will be C. Then R will come into the packing positions. Okay. So C R C R combination. That ladder structure. Here core form is there. The state of we always know that we have to do a continual fraction expansion only. If it is form one, we have to remove the higher order polynomials. Core form two, then we have to remove the lower order polynomials. If I have to, if I am talking about core form two for our RC network, then it is better always to write in the reverse order to remove the lower polynomials first. So 12 8s is a square, 6 8s plus 2 a square. Right? So we will remove the lower order polynomials first. Okay. So <coughs> lower order polynomials first. So once we go further, let's take 6, 8s, 2a square, 12, 8s plus a square. Then I multiply 2 times. 2 times, 12 will come. 8 into 2 is 16s yes, plus 2 into 2, 4a square. The next element will be 12 will go. This will use to minus 8s plus again this will be also minus 3a square. Have make a note whenever if this z of s we know that if a function f of s is a positive real function right then 1 by f of s is also positive real functions only. But whenever I am encountering given a function that it's clear that it's a positive real function. We have to realize that. The moment we encounter negative terms, better take it in uh, inverse form. If we, given is z of s, we have to solve in y of s form. If given is y of s, we have to solve it in form of z of s, right? So, if you encounter a negative terms here, we know that is positive real problem. The question cannot be negative. So, we have to just invert this. So given z of s, I will make it in the form of y of s. y of s will be what? It will be the inverse of this. So the first term it will be 6, 8s, 2a square divided by 12 plus just into 8s. So, s square. so now given y of s, we have to realize a core form 2. We are talking about core form 2. So C R C R form so now I will go for the control fraction expansion of this 12 plus 8s plus a square 6 plus 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 2 a square. So hard and rule is remove lower polynomials first. So the first element will be 1 by 2. Now make 1 by 2, 6 plus 4s plus 1 by 2 a square, right? So we end up with 4s plus 4s plus. So 2 minus 1 by 2, 2 minus 1 by 2 is 3 by 2 a square, right? So again, control tax expansion. So 12, 8s plus a square. Now, okay, 12, 8s plus a square. We have to remove 3 by s, 3 by s. If I make 3 multiply means 12 by s, yes, will go 
3 by s so plus 9 by 2 s yes, right 9 by 2 s yes. so first element goes 16 minus 9 16 minus 9 again is 7 by 2 s plus s square okay 16 minus 9 by 2 7 by 2 right so plus s square so I have to remove this 4 s plus 3 by 2 s square 4 s plus 3 by 2 if I tell this y term, this will be my y1 term, this will be my z1 term, next my y2 term, y2 term will be in order to remove this. So let me take 8 by 7, right? If I make 8 by 7, so you can remove the 4s term, 4s, 8 by 7 plus. 3 by 2 minus 8 by 7. So 14. Okay. 14 in the denominator. 21 minus 16. 21 minus 16 is 5 by 14. 5 by 14. So 5 by 14 is square. So I have to remove from this. 7 by 2 s plus a square. So I will just drag this one this side. So we have 5 by 14 s yes, right. 5 by 14 s yes, square and I have to take 7 by 2 s yes, plus s yes, square so the first element now y2 is 8 by 7 now z2 z2 we will see what is that if I may 49 by 5 s if I make 49 by 5 s 49 my 5 5 goes so 7 divided by 2 we have s so s square is the pending one 5 by 14 s square so we make 5 by 14 5 by 14 s square so we end up with so this is my y3 fine so <coughs> we have y1 y1 is nothing but indicating a term which is resistance, mm -hmm. conductance, conductance sorry. So y1 is 1 by 2, so you have 1 by 2 Siemens, 1 by 2 Siemens or I can write 2 ohms straight away, 2 ohms straight away. If I write 3 by s, it is in z, so 3 by s will be having a capacitor 1 by 3 farad, 1 by 3 farad. So the next again will be in resistance by 2. So 8 by 7, so 7 by 8 ohms. So, or you can keep 8 by 7 Siemens. Okay. So 7 by 8 ohms. Resistance 7 by 8 ohms. So the next will be a capacitor that is your inside two terms, which is in series. So which is nothing but 5 by 49 farad. 5 by 14 farad. The last element will be 14 by 5 ohms. 14 by 5 ohms. So this is a RC, RC, C in series, R in parallel condition. This is a car form 2 network. Okay. So given any problem, you can able to write a car form 1 and car form 2. Hence, let's take the problem for car form 1 and car form 2 for RL network. Okay, coming to the car form realization of RL network. Let's take the curve form 1 and let's solve for the RL circuit. That is, realize the network in RL form. So, let's take the first problem. That is, Z of S. Let's take the previous way which we saw. S plus 1, S plus 3 divided by S plus 2, S plus 6. So, this problem we have seen in the previous sessions in RC, realization curve form 2. Right? So, <coughs> If it comes for the core form 1, we have to remove the higher order pole numbers first. So let me write uh, an expansion of this. So it is nothing but 2 a square plus 8s plus 6, right? Divided by a square plus 8s plus 12, right? So when we do a, past, a continuous fraction expansion, that is we have to remove the higher order pole numbers first. It is uh, a square plus it is plus 12. 
So when I multiply two times here, so this will be my z1, right? Z1. I end up with 2s square plus 16s plus uh, 24. So we have minus 8 minus 18. Minus 8s minus 8. So as I can say, if negative terms comes into the picture, we have to take an inverse of this. That is, we have to take y of s. Instead, we are moving further with this term. This pull down where I will take y of s. I will take inverse of this, then we will like go to continuous flex expansion and we will realize the network. A square plus 8s plus 12. 2s square, 8s plus 6. Right? So, do a continuous flex expansion. So, when I can have a square, when I have 1 by 2, multiply 1 by 2, and this term is nothing but my y1, right? We are into y dom. So, a square plus 4s plus 3, 4s plus we get 9, and it is similar to the previous one, 8s plus 6. So, I should get 2s, so it is s by 2 that is my z1 z1 is s by 2 so 2 s square plus 9 by 2 s so when i have 9 by 2 s 8 to 16 minus 9 7 by 2 s plus 6 so we have 4 s plus 9 when i can have y1 now y1 over y2 y2 is when i have 8 by 7 right 8 by 7, we have 4s plus 48 by 7. 48 by 7. So, 63 minus 48. 63 minus 48 is by 5 by 7. So 5 by 7, we have to again remove from 7s by 2. So, when I can have my 7 by 2. So is it 49 by by 30? 49 by 30 will get 7 by 2s, right? So that will be s. Z, Z term? Yes. Okay, so we get 6. So I have to get 15 by 7. When I can have 15 by 7, the third term moment is y3, which will be a constant. Nothing but uh, multiply 15 by 42. Correct? 15 by 42 so we have 15 by 7 so it ends to 0 so the first element is y1 y1 first element what indicates y1 it's an conductance so what's the value 1 by 2 more or i can write 2 ohms i can write 2 ohms and this the next element z1 is in series the value of that is 1 by 2 henry right it is 1 by 2 henry and the next element is my y2 that is 7 by 8 ohms then we have 49 by 30 49 by 30 Henry and the last element is 42 by 15 ohms right so this is your uh, z of s or y of s you can write z of s this one is realized in this way or even y of s y of s or z of s which is z of s of this y of s of this function okay so here you can see r l l and r l and r l is the first element r are parallel to it so l comes in series way right so that is your ladder function so car form one okay so <coughs> given a polynomial function numerator and denominator function we have to expand that or if it is expand straight away we can remove higher order polynomials by removing higher order polynomials if any way you encounter the remainder negative you just have to invert that and go on control facts expansion we will get if you are having a y term then first would be y1 then z1 y2 z2 y3 z3 that way or if the given function itself is z if you have control facts z1 y1 z2 y2 that function and you have to just write this circuit right 
So realization of a core form one for RS kit. R L R L. For different problem, maybe the first element this resistance straight away we start with inductor. First element resistance will not be there. Maybe L R L R will be there, right? So let's take some more problem and uh, realize this. Maybe let's take the same problem and realize it for core form. Or form two. Or form two. Okay. When I say, let's take this second. This is second problem. Can see the same second problem. Or form two. So if I talk this form, this problem for or form two realization, we have to remove the lower order pole elements first, right? So this will not be an effective. We have to remove the lower order, lower order pole elements. So lower order pole elements, I can write the first the lower order twelve eight s plus a square. Okay. So for this we have to remove the lower order pole elements first. So twelve eight s plus a square. Six plus eight s plus two s square. So lower order. When I can have the lower order, this is z. So my z one is the first term, right? So when I can have one by two. When I have one by two, this is six, eight. So we will have four s plus one by two s square, right? So this is four by four s plus four minus one is three by two s. Maybe we have solved the same problem, right? In previous case. So coming to the next, twelve plus eight s square. So when I can have three by s is equal to y one now. Three by s is y one. So twelve plus three by s nine by two s. This is a square. So from this we end up with we end up with twelve twelve goes. Sixteen minus nine is seven by two s plus a square. I have to remove from this four s plus three by two a square. Okay. So when I can have z two, z two will be. When I have make it eight by seven, we will have four s right. Eight by seven. Seven seven goes. Eight by two is four. Plus eight by seven a square. So first term goes. So what is this? Three by two minus eight by seven. Three by two minus eight by seven is fourteen. So twenty-one minus sixteen. Five by fourteen, right? Five by fourteen a square. So seven by two s plus a square. So z two. Now I have y two term. Y two term. When I can have forty-nine by Five U S. Then I can have forty nine by five U S five five goes forty nine seven by two. Forty nine by five U S seven by two. right. So seven by two S. You end up with a square. A square. Then five U by fourteen a square. You want to make. So just multiply five by fourteen. Five by fourteen square, so end up with zero. So the third term we have is z to three. Okay. So if z one indicates my resistance, state a resistance with the value one by two ohms. Y one, y one is having three by s. Three by s in this one by l s, right? So one by l s. One by three Henry. One by three Henry. Then your resistance comes in. That is eight by seven ohms. Then again, inductor five by forty nine. Five by forty nine. The third one, our resistance five by fourteen. And you can see my R L. 
network. First is R, then is L. This is car form 2. This is car form 2 realization. For given So, make a note. For given car form 1 and 2, it will be either LC or CL ladder structure. Form 1, we have to remove the higher order polynomials first. Car form 2, remove the lower order polynomials first. Whenever we are removing the higher order polynomials, if you encounter negative sign, just invert that and go further for country tax expansion. The elements as it is, first will be, if it is Z function, Z1, Y1, Z2, Y2, so on. If it is Y function, Y1, Y2, Y1, Z1, Y2, Z2, that's found. And we have to be carefully denote the resistance inductor or inductor resistance that fashion called RL and resistance capacitor or capacitor resistance for the RC. Okay. So, call form 1 will be having inductor first, then resistance in parallel. Call form 2, resistance first, then inductor in parallel. Call form 2. In the serious similar case, call form 1 for the RC, we have a resistance, capacitor next, form 1. And form 2, capacitor and resistance next. So, this all the includes for the syllabus for the passing network synthesis. We have done what we learned about what is a Harvest polynomial and how to find out whether a function is positive real functions or not. So, only the necessary condition is the function has to be positive real in order to realize a network. Okay. So, we realized a first of form 1 by using partial fraction expansion, first of form 2 again partial expansion for admittance function, first of form 1 for the Impedance, first of form 2 is for admittance, car form 1 and 2 is again a continuous tax expansion, but removing a higher order polynomial is for the car form 1, removing higher lower order polynomial is for the car form 2. Hence, this is the syllabus. Thank